Hello everybody and welcome back to some more League of Legends. This is going to be a uh, recording of my last match of Season 12, League of Legends Journey to Diamond, yes. Now, we did not make it to Diamond, okay? But considering I, I, I quit this game for like two years, and we back, I, I made it to Platinum finally. It took me... Oh my god, it took me quite a bit, bro. Alright, let's, let's look at a couple of my accounts, okay? Let's see. There we go. Uh, should be one more. There we go. Uh, this is it. All right, let's start with this one, okay? We got 220 games, 51% win rate, gold three. Just barely. Awful matches, awful people in my teams. Off. I I, I did try Blitzcrank. <laughs> Bad. Bad pick, by the way. It's a gimmick. It's really not worth it. It can work, but it's bad, in my opinion, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. Now, uh, you're gonna see a trend of Udyr being probably my best pick on all these accounts. But let's just, let's just see it, okay? Gold 3, 20 LP. 107 fucking losses, bro. Alright. This one. This, one's, this one was a, a Kale main, but... This is my main account, by the way. Okay. 700 matches, 49 per This is fucking awful, by the way. This is fucking awful. Look at these matches, bro. Like, my, my, my teammates were, were absolute garbage on my, on my main account, okay? Let's look at this. This is on uh, Northeast. Yeah. <laughs> this is on Northeast. I was planning to to bring this to to plat i may still do this this is the last account i started playing on this season uh i'm not sure if i'm still gonna play on it but i, I may just still push this to to plat now uh, let's go back to our current winner 370 52 percent 60% win rate Udyr, 138. This is the, the Udyr main account, okay? This is where I actually started to, to kick it into high gear. This was a smurf account I made... Uh, I don't even know. I think I made this last season? I don't even remember. Anyway. Yeah, you might be wondering what happened here. What was... was was this? What's that? Well, I, I queued up, and apparently, <laughs> I forgot that if you dodge, you get a loss. Yeah, so, Riot, that would be extremely helpful to everybody playing ranked. If you could fucking change that, please, after 13 seasons almost. Thank you. Let's, let's take a look at our last match, though, okay? Well, let's take a look at our, our last match. Whoops, wrong screen. There we go. So this is literally my last match. Literally just promoted. Like a like a half an hour ago. And I stood on this and I just watched, bro. I was like, let's, let's check chat. Anything? Nah, okay. Alright. So, what the fuck happened here? <laughs> it was a it was an interesting one. Let's let's check it out, okay? Because I feel like there's a lot to learn in this game. Every time I play, there's, there's just a lot of things to learn from everything. From everything and anything in this game. Alright, come on. There we go. Here we go. Alright, as per usual, we playing the deer. Now, remember I said something in the last video if you watched it but apparently it's got two views so probably not last video it was a video about uh rq maxing on udyr okay now i'm kind of doing something similar but it's it's a, a little bit uh, different early as in in my last video i said i would go r at level 3, so I would go R level 1 or Q level 1 into RR 
that would mean 1Q, 2R, and get turtle by 5, which is something I did not do in this game, because I was like, you know what, it's a Shivana, I better stay healthy, I better stay focused, because if I'm not healthy, uh, it's gonna be bad if I get into a fight at Crab, and I did get into a fight at Crab because I was healthy, and you're gonna see soon, let's double speed this. So we are starting, uh, I believe, Q this game, every game almost. The only time I'm starting R is if I'm doing an invade. And I really need it. By the way, my game has been perma-fucking-freezing this entire season. Also, I had a lot of fucking crashes. I don't know what's going on, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I am very confused. I, I still don't know a, a decent way of clearing uh golems <laughs> so yeah this is basically what i'm doing every match this is basically my my most optimized clear i believe just just waste your awakening as much as possible during the clear <laughs> you're gonna see me dual clearing double camping yes that's the thing you can do that very easily if you have thorough if you don't have turtle, you can't, because it's it's very hard. Now, Shivana's bot side. Uh, this is very, very bad for us, because the Twitch is going to get fed. It don't matter, though. I spotted Heimerdinger, and I'm like, we go. We go. This was the first time I attempted a gank on, on a Heimerdinger at level 4 on any champion I don't gank Heimerdinger this early because I'm usually not confident enough to make sure the gank actually works like I'm, I'm, I'm usually not sure the gank works or not but considering the rework Udi are kind of strong and I've been playing like 200 matches plus of him already yeah we go and I'm gonna go again. Punish. Yes. I'm going mid again because I see shenanigans happening over here. Shivana was pushing the wave. Now, if you push the wave for a Heimerdinger and he's here and he just died to a gank. Just just don't do this as a Heimerdinger. Yes, you push, but you wanna push ASAP and get the fuck away from the tower because you're gonna die. This is there's no reason for you to be here. See this? I know he just died. Yes. I know he just died to a gank. I know I can gank him. And he's he's very out of position. Like, like, there's, there's no fucking way you get away from that. Especially with an Udyr and a Zed chasing you. There's, there's, no, there's just no way. You just can't. Now I kind of... I'm gonna be honest, I still haven't gotten used to... Uh, I believe this was a change made in Season 11? I'm not really sure. Anyway... I'm still not uh, used to evolving smites. And Season 13 changed smites again! Which is gonna make it even worse, which is why I'm gonna... Stop the climb to the, the diamond. I believe. Uh, by the way, today is 11th of October. Uh, not October. What am I talking about? It's, it's November, bro. <laughs> it's 11-11. Why am I saying October? All right. So. We are 3-0 at this point. Okay? We are very strong. Very strong. Now, here's the thing. I see the Twitch fed. And I'm kind of worried. But... Considering it's a Rakan, a Shivana, it's a, a Heimerdonger. We got an Irelia, we got a Rakan. Yeah, you know what? I'm just thinking I'm going to boot this, yes. Now, here's the thing. The reason I'm going those is because I don't really need Tenacity. We have Legend Tenacity and that's about all I care for this match. Considering they don't really have a lot of CC and uh, the CC I'm scared about is a knockup. From Rakan. Yeah, we don't care. There's a fight. She dies. She wasted flash. Don't waste flash. 
Look at this. Like this this is a bad player by the way. Okay? This is gold plat. Like gold high gold low plat. You see your top laner pushed. Why the fuck are you flashing? You know she's coming. Also, I would have caught up and she would have died anyway, so why waste flash? If anything, she should have come here and flash over the wall, because I don't have flash, yes? I, I'm running ghost on Udyr every time. All the time. She loses red for this too. And I didn't even know, but she was like right here. Look at that. Yes. That was a sneaky steal, bro. I didn't even know. Alright, back to clear. Now, at this point, Zed kind of just does his thing, because I kind of camped the Heimerdonger early. He got a gank and a regank. <laughs> yeah. Gag, regag, level 4. Badge. Very hard to deal with. Especially if you have no sums. Which I believe he burned in the second gank. Shivana's trying. She kind of pushed the Zed in. Now I see the Shivana. I immediately attempt to go for this. Popping Q awaken because R is literally not strong enough at this point. Even though it's 4 points into R, I still believe it's not strong enough to pop the Awaken sometimes. Especially if you need a quick kill. Oh, I'm very chasing this. <laughs> I, I, I very much wanted the double. Now I see Heimerdinger and I'm like, oh my god, I'm in trouble. Stun the bitch, run away. Try to dodge the stun as best as possible, we get stunned anyway. We got hit by that too and the Shivana. Uh, luckily, we had the Awaken on the, the Iron Mantle, the Turtle Stance. Yes, very good, very good. Or do they call it a Boar Stance nowadays? I don't even know, bro, it doesn't say. It's just, it's a Mantle Stance, okay? Claw, Mantle, Stampede, Storm. These names make these names makes, make no sense, like literally. This is a Blizzard, not a Storm, by the way. No Storm. If you will. If anything. Anyway. Yeah, this Uther makes no sense, by the way. Like, he's insanely strong. And I believe, even if they nerf Udyr for next season, considering the, the tank items and considering his percentage max HP damage... Um, I don't know, bro. Like, if you cut his damage into half, he's still gonna be OP. Maybe not early game, but for late game, definitely. And considering you get a Demonic Embrace second item almost all the freaking time, which is something you're gonna see me do almost every game, because it's just it's really just that good of an item for you, dear. Zed dies on mid. Very cringe. But we take Herald for it. We are gonna be losing a couple Drakes to Shivana, which is very annoying, but we don't really care, bro. We don't really care. I was looking to go for this, but Camille was back in, and, and uh, yeah. I was hoping she would push a little bit faster. But considering I kind of knew she wanted was topside, I was like, mm, let's not go for that. Bring back the farm. Now, uh, it's a 3 1 Twitch. I am very worried about this bot lane this entire match. Especially since he's going AP. But that's also one of the reasons that they kind of lost, I believe. Now, if, if Twitch was AD, they might have won this. But considering they have no AP mid laner, because Heimerdonger is just perma dying. Yes, that was bad. Now, <clears throat> this Heimerdinger was here. I have no idea why. I just noticed him and I was like, oh, wait, I'm sitting on a ward. Like, I, I knew I was sitting on a ward, but... Yeah, <laughs> I, I had Herald. <laughs> I couldn't check. Now we lose this, and I know we lose this because my entire team is basically kind of out of position. And by the time we go back... Yeah. Yeah. Now we do get some kills here. We do get some kills here. And those do help quite a bit. Okay. We got a Heimer. We got a tower on mid. Well, not the tower completely, but we do get the plates. 
And I will risk for this last plate, okay? We do risk. We do be risking. We need the gold, we want the gold. And then I saw the Twitch. I don't even know what the fuck happened. Why they were here? But they all just fucking died, bro. They all just fucking died. I don't even know what was happening. I was like, oh my god, what the fuck, bro? I'm about to lose my, my promos. Hold up. Wait a minute. I ain't going out like this. Alright, now if you look at the items, the Shivana's got a Bork. Which kind of confused me, because you don't want to get a Bork first on Shivana, especially while behind. Because <laughs> she is very much behind. And they have no frontliner other than Shivana. Oh, uh, well, if you count I really a frontliner, I guess, then you're fine, but. I don't know, can she really frontline with a Bork? Because that's what she's going for. <laughs> so they have no frontliner early, aside from Shivana. And I mean, I guess Rakan, but he's not really a frontliner. This happens on top. And I was like, oh, bro, you're giving a shoddy too? Damn. All right, now we see the Twitch before he went into stealth. And I knew I got to be on both sides. Like this, this motherfucker got a Medjai, bro. 13 minutes in, a full on Medjai with a Nash horse. We got to go. We got to go. Got the shutdown, we don't care about the ADC much, but we do give him a kill. We did get the shutdown, but we did give the AD carry a kill. Which helps quite a bit. I didn't know there was a word there, by the way. I did not see it. <sighs> yes. Fog of War. Now, straight into Demonic we go. Swifties, Sunfire, Demonic. Now, if I would have seen the Twitch go AD instead of Nashors, <clears throat> this is why I, I say Demonic is, is very, very good, but it's also something I not, I, I'm not buying all the freaking time as a second item. Because if you see Triple Bork, for example, I would normally either go Bami's or Warden's Mail. Or both, if I have the money. Just Warden's Mail, ba uh, Br Bramble Vest, there we go, not Bami's. I would just go either uh, Bami's into Sunfire or Bami's into Warden's and the Bramble Vest. Or something along those lines, if I really, really need the armor. Because Sunfire is good for the damages, but you, you don't have enough defense. I'm sorry, but it's true. You just don't have enough defense, bro. They do a lot of damage. And considering the fucking double tap from Shivana, which she maxed apparently. Wait. <clears throat> Why'd she max? What the fuck? I did not even know this. This Shivana maxed her, her double tap, her Q instead of her E. Bro, you wanna max Snowball. What do you mean? This is why Shivana's strong. You max Snowball. Anyway, I fought a couple Shivanas uh, this week, I guess. They got shit on every single time. <laughs> it doesn't matter what they max, okay? Now, this guy is about to get ganked. He's about to... I think he dodges the gank, but I'm not completely sure. You have easy escape around there. Yep, there's the Zed trying to do some shenanigans on bot side. Twitch is still 6-2, by the way. With a Medjai. What the fuck is going on? There we go. <laughs> a little bit of a bug. Sorry about that. Alright. She still got away. This this one's pushing. I don't know why. She's got a Bork. Um, Yeah, you gotta fight a Divine a divine Sonder Camille with an Executioner. Yes, this is not going well. Well, <clears throat> excuse me. Kind of got a cold again. Ah. Uh, Demonic Sunfire, yes. We basically got the, the dream core items. Now, I usually go for a Frozen Heart or a Thorn Mail, depending on needs. I think I go Frozen Heart this game, if I remember correctly. I was very, very worried about a Twitch. But at the same time, I saw Double Bork. 
and I'm like, oh my god, really? Double Bork? Double Bork means Frozen Heart and Thormiel just destroys their team, by the way. Now I saw this, I, I still get a kill, by the way. If it wasn't for the Twitch, I would have gotten a triple. I'm just saying, that was a solo triple. If not for Twitch, okay? That's how strong you are with Demonic Embrace, Sunfire, and, uh... We lose a Drake. The Zed tried. He tried. Now at this point, yeah. Shit just happens. <laughs> she goes, like, she, she fucking just went for it. All the way over there. Now I got 6 into R, that's maxed. 3 into Q. Rock on. Doing some shit. I I'm, I'm I I am not sure what I'm looking at, bro. Like this Rakan is just trying to kill this Camille. It's not working for him. And then we go. Now they're all gonna die, aside from me, by the way. Cause yeah. See what I mean? Warden's mail. This just wrecks their entire fucking team. This works into Twitch as well because this is magic damage on hit. Okay. This shaves off 14 off of that magic damage too. Yes. Very strong items. Udir has very strong build paths. On... It's like... It doesn't matter what you go, bro. It, he's just very, very strong. He's strong on AD. He's strong on AP. He's strong on late game. He's strong on early. He's strong any, anywhere with anything and everywhere. Okay? <laughs> now I know this Shivana's coming. I just pop Herald and I, I think I go for her because I see her do this. I'm just trying to disengage here, but my AD carry is like, nah, we go. And I'm like, okay, hold up, hold up. You're a little bit too far ahead of yourself. <laughs> but at this point, we had to go and I'm like, hmm, damn, damn, we lost. Thank God, you did your OP. And we got eight, four kills on uh, Samira. I forgot her name for a second there. Uh, yes. I forgot her name because I'm the one doing the heavy fucking lifting all the time. I just don't care for other names. There we go. She dies. We get a shutdown. Wait, did we get a shutdown? or They they got a shutdown. Okay, so that's 700 extra for the Twitch. Yeah, at this point it doesn't really matter, by the way. Like, I'm... I'm done with my items my core is done like you get a frozen heart a thorn mail they can't even move bro but i believe i just straight up bought a force of nature after this because i i feel like i i have no reason to go frozen heart like <laughs> sure they do damage but they don't do nearly enough damage because i'm doing much more why would i go frozen heart when i can just itemize into the twitch and Heimerdonger, okay? Because they, they, they do much more damage. Now I got 172, 174. MR and armor. Yes. 111. AP. We are very strong. 420 move speed. We are very strong. 3k HP. This is not even season 13 yet. We got some shenanigans happening on mid. And yes, we go. This is why we bring Ghost, by the way, so we can get right in there ASAP. Got a kill. Another kill. This this guy gets away because that's a Twitch, bro. Dude just don't even know where he at. Which is why I kind of hate stealth. Uh, this one dies again, uh, as well, by the way. I don't know why she came here. Because I'm obviously unkillable. This Twitch tried. I didn't know, but he tried. He would have died, by the way. Sure, I don't have my Awaken, but he would have died. I think I used Awaken just now for the, the heals. Because I was like, switch alive, switch alive. Zed? <laughs> yeah, this, this Twitch, I think, tried to kill Zed and couldn't because he saw me. But just me being there is enough of a threat. I, I see this, and I'm like, hmm, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. She's not coming. Hmm, damn. Now we go. I am trying, but I don't... I don't remember if anything happens here. 
Aside from me getting away. Okay. Okay. There was a lot of shit happening this entire game, okay? Like a lot of shit. This also happened. I was trying to cover, but... I mean, at this point, there's no need. <laughs> She's 12 kills at this point. I'm 13 110. Getting the first Drake. <laughs> Bro, I'm getting my first Drake 23 minutes in almost. <laughs> yes. Yes. <sighs> this is what happens when you're against the Shivana. Like, they're just gonna go for the Drake. And their team is just gonna cover, so... Ain't nothing you can do about it sometimes. Unless you get the... The bot lane ahead and the mid ahead. Uh, earlier in the game than I did. I guess. Baron, Baron, Baron. Now they... they don't even know we are here, bro. Like, this is just... Insult to injury right there. Because they don't even know. And they're losing. And they, they lost both Drake and Baron after getting three Drakes in a row. Uh, I don't know if they're flaming the Shivana, but... It could. It could be. Probably the Heimerdinger, too. <laughs> I don't think uh, the, the Cyrelia had it easy, either. I think their chat's full of... Full of, full of toxic behavior. Back to farming. Because we literally have nothing else to do right now. And we are attempting to group with the Zed. Because we saw Shivana, we saw the Zed pushing. We're trying to get a pick, okay? I tried to get the pick on Rakan, but... Motherfucker, I can jump the walls, bro. I can't. <laughs> Yeah. I still don't know why she's here. She's maybe farming or something. I don't know. Like at this point you just lose the game. If we are here still pushing and your jungler is doing this? <laughs> she's two levels behind as well? Nah, bro. Like Shivana should have been here. Anyway, I don't think it would have changed the outcome. I'm not gonna lie. Which is why I think she stayed, she stayed down there to farm. She's still not maxed on E, by the way. I have no idea why. Don't you, like, get two points into Burnout and then Flame Breath maxed? Something like that? I'm pretty sure that's how Shivana works. If you go AP. Or, a, or AP tank. With a Bork. Yeah, I don't die anymore, bro. It's very hard to kill me. Very hard, especially since Renata. At this point, the game is just over. But... Frozen Heart. They, they can't do anything. And I'm in there. So they literally cannot do anything. I got this, this, this. The game is just over. I hope you guys learned a little bit about how to itemize. A little bit of how to build Udyr properly. Maxing R and Q. And uh, what can I say? I really hope next season. I really hope next season I get to make it to Diamond. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to see you guys next time.